Three, two, one. Hello, people. Today we're going to talk about the Firebirds and the Thunderbirds. So if you were watching British television back in 1965, you might have seen a television show called Thunderbirds. And this is a licensed rendition of Thunderbird 1, which is a rocket ship from the TV show. So basically they're super marionette puppets flying around in airships on bigoture stages, saving the day. An airship? <laughs> this one was manufactured by Matchbox in 1992. And of course, it's a licensed product, so it's got the name on it. And this is pretty much what the rockets look like in the television show. And this is Thunderbird 3, which is from the same Matchbox toy line in 1992. I'm not sure exactly how many uh, vehicles Matchbox did from this TV series, but these are two that I have in my collection. So back in 1978, Z was advertising this product line called Firebirds. And it is a straight knockoff, or almost a straight knockoff, of the Thunderbirds television show. So we don't see this line advertised in the 78 catalog, but we do see it in the 78 price list. But then we find a beautiful advertisement for the Firebirds in the 79 catalog, and then a different, very radically redesigned advertisement in the 80 catalog. But then in the 81 catalog, most of the Firebirds, with the exception of four and five, have completely disappeared. By 1984, we don't see any Firebirds anymore. So Z did all three of these castings in two different colors. And here we have the white version of Firebird 1. And here's the silver version of Firebird 1. I'm not sure if this button was supposed to spring load these wings, but at this point it's just a lock and it really doesn't work well at that. Now these toys were not manufactured by Z or Zalmex. They were manufactured by a company called Yacht which is toy spelled backwards, basically. Here is the black and white version of Firebird 3. And we've got the same yacht marking here on the bottom, but it's really hard to see because of the coloring here. So here's the second rendition, or second variation on the Firebird 3. <laughs> this one is a lot easier to see the marking on the bottom. So I don't know the whole history behind this. Uh, maybe Chuck can enlighten us a little bit, but it's clear to me that this product line didn't last very long because it was probably unlicensed and attracted too much attention. 
Now this one is called, in the Firebirds line, it's called the Space Missile. But from the Thunderbirds television show, it's called the Mole. And it would drill through the Earth. Now on the bottom, we don't see any markings. It doesn't say Yacht or Zile or anything. It's just a clean bottom. So I'm not sure who made this casting. Uh, it could have been different than, may not have been Yacht. It's hard to say. And then this one is Firebird 4. And I don't have Firebird 5, but it, Firebird 4 and 5 were not in the TV show. And like the space missile, there's no markings on the bottom other than made in Taiwan. So it could be that all these were made by different companies. It's hard to say really. If somebody knows, I'd like to I'd like to hear more about it. Now the last one we have here is Firebird 2, which is a straight knockoff from the television show. This was uh, in the TV show, it's green and it's called uh, Thunderbird 2. But the design here is identical, right down to how this pod drops out. And in the TV show, several vehicles can be stowed away in here one of them is the mole but in this one they sold there it is in the tv show this was known as thunderbird 4 and it's a little submarine I just think that's so cool that that they included that with this. There it is. Now this vehicle you won't find advertised anywhere in the catalog other than in the multi-pack. So that's curious. I'd like to know why that, that is. And I'm sure it's because of licensing issues. Now searching online for more examples of yacht toys, we find a couple different packaging styles. This, uh, this card marked Jet Fighter has Thunderbird 5, the space station. And on the back here of this packaging, we see a large variety, a larger variety of Thunderbird toys uh, offered by Yacht. And how much is this one going for? Oh my gosh, $124. These are very, very collectible. So here's Thunderbird 3 on a track and they want $199 my goodness these are these are very expensive toys so here's a close-up of the yacht logo and it's clear they made these castings in several colors and this one here is Thunderbird 2 in its classic green color. And here's Thunderbird 4 in blue. <laughs> and another one in orange. Wow, this was a, a really cool product line. Thanks for watching, people. Make it a great day. And I have my wish now. Why not? Well, I wish I could see all the Thunderbirds launched. All the Thunderbirds?